Hi, I'm Chris Fox, lead gameplay designer, and I'm here today to tell you about the six new character classes in Plants vs. Zombies Garden Warfare 2. Since the dawn of time, the plants have protected suburbia from the zombies. In Garden Warfare 2, the zombies have finally won and are now, for the very first time in franchise history, defending Zomburbia from the plants who are fighting to reclaim it. Now this directly informed how we created the new character classes and their ability sets. Let's start with the crazy little zombie imp and the reason we're in this mess to begin with. Dr. Zomboss was able to shift the tides of battle in his favor by weaponizing the imps with patented Z-Tech technology from the future. The imp is an agile, dual-wielding pest equipped with butt boosters, gravity grenades, and all sorts of other tricks. While on foot, the imp can use his speed and agility to get close to his enemies, set up some great team play moments with his gravity grenade, or just go wild with his imp kata ability. But that's not all. He can call in a Z-Mech Pow, who's a hulking robot complete with shoulder-mounted missiles, a robo-laser, and some feet made for stomping. When the battle becomes too much for even the powerful Z-Mech, the Imp has his explosive escape to fall back on, ejecting himself from the mech and triggering an explosion in the process. Next up is the Imp's stylish nemesis, Citron. Citron is a bounty hunting orange from the future, sent back in time to help the plants take back suburbia. Being an orange, Citron can transform into a sphere and quickly roll from one area to the next. He can charge up and boost forward, dealing extra damage to zombies or launch himself off the terrain. Paired with an energy shield for protection, he can not only defend allies when needed, but he can also hold his own against imps and their Z-Mechs. Designed as their direct nemesis, he rocks an EM Peach that's super effective against Z-Mechs, but can also stun other classes. Back on the zombie team, we have the flashy superhero, Super Brains. Zomboss engineered him as the punchy powerhouse and PR rep for Z-Tech, complete with exceptional hair and a charismatic smile. As the first zombie melee class in Garden Warfare, Super Brains causes mayhem up close with his heroic fists and turbo twister. He's no slouch at a distance either, as he can leap structures in a single bound, send plants flying with his heroic kick, and use a super ultra ball at range. His heroic fist laser is particularly noteworthy, as we actually transform his primary weapon from melee focused to ranged, based on whether you're holding down the left trigger. With this blend of melee power and ranged attack, Super Brains is a staple in breaking up the plant offensive. What better way to bolster the plants and counter the mighty Super Brains than a supremely powerful sorceress from the past? Meet Rose. Traveling forward in time, Rose has arrived to support the plants' offensive with her magical abilities, summoning teleporters and turrets and turning tanks like Super Brains into stinky old goats. On top of that, Rose has a very effective team play ability called the Time Snare, slowing down time for all unlucky zombies caught within and making them easy targets. Combining that with her Arcane Enigma, the ability to become pure damage-dealing energy, and her homing magic thistles, you have a powerful ally in the fight for Zomburbia. Now on to Captain Deadbeard, a crusty pirate from the past who was adrift for hundreds of years. As an expert at long-range combat, he's just what the zombies need to defend against the plant offensive. His primary weapon has two modes, his long-range spyglass shot, used to vanquish plants at a safe distance, and a slow-firing, short-range scurvy scatter shot. In keeping with his long-range focus, Deadbeard's Parapal ability allows the player to take to the skies and attack from above with laser beams and explosive airstrikes. Captain Deadbeard also has his Cannon Rodeo ability, where he rides a giant cannon that fires explosive cannonballs. Finally, when the enemy gets too close and the scurvy scatter shot isn't enough, our fearless captain has a dynamite-equipped armored barrel to hide in. Last, we have the surly Colonel Corn who wields dual cop busters and leads the plant offensive as the primary assault class. He's deceptively quick and has a high rate of fire, and he can launch his cogs like rockets when he needs to deal a lot of damage very quickly. His husk cop ability propels him into the air, allowing him to fire corn cobs from above. And if that's not enough, he can even call in a butter barrage airstrike by lobbing out a hot potato to mark the target zone. With the colonel on their side, the plants stand a real chance in their battle for Zomburbia. With these six new character classes and their crazy new variants, we have something for everyone in the battle for Zomburbia. 